Hi everyone, welcome to Be Smart Together. Before we start, please click subscribe and turn on the notification to avoid missing valuable videos. Also, feel free to drop a comment below. Say we have weekly timesheets, weeks 1, 2, and 3. We want to consolidate them into a single dataset. Unfortunately, the column name for employee ID is inconsistent across timesheets. Inconsistent column names can be a pain when it comes to appending tables. Let us get into the Power Query Editor, and I will show you why. You would normally have all the reports imported, then go to the Home tab and use the Append Queries function to append the imported reports. We have the Employee ID column from the Week 1 timesheet. The Employee Number column from the Week 2 timesheet and the employee number column from the week 3 timesheet. All the employee number columns were not aligned due to inconsistency of column naming. Let's create a blank query, and I will show you one of the methods to handle this case. Rename the query to solution. Type hash shared in the formula bar. You will get the records for all queries in the workbook, and a list of functions. We want to filter only the timesheet table. So we need record functions to help us. Add a custom step, and then add the record field names function, which will return a list of field names. We need the list select function to filter text starting with week. Then, we need the record select fields function to filter the timesheet table. The critical problem is the column names. We need to normalize the column names. F Isley, we need the record to list function to turn the record into a list. Then, we use list transform and table column names functions to extract the column names. We can use the list combine function to combine the lists. Rename the step to get column names. There are duplicates name on the list. Click on remove duplicates to remove duplicates. Then, click on the to table function to turn the list into a table. We have a helper table to help us normalize the column names. It is already imported into Power Query. Go back to the Solution Query. Go to the Home tab and click on the Merge Queries function. We want to merge with the helper query. Please pay attention, here is the key part. Tick the fuzzy box, then expand the options. The similarity threshold is default at 0.8. The minimum is 0, and the maximum is 1 representing the level of similarity. Let us start with 0.5. Expand the normalized header name. 0.5 similarity level only managed to normalize the lower case in this scenario. So there is still another one left out. Go back to the merged query step, and reduce the similarity level to 0.3. Click OK to continue. Awesome. All the employee number column names are now normalized. The next thing we want to do is to fill up the null cells. There are two types in the column names, text, and date in text. We want the date in text in this format. Go to the Home tab, and use the Replace Value function. We want to replace null with something, so we put a temporary value for now. Add each is highlighted in the formula bar. Without the each function, the replace value function replaces the null with a static value instead of the conditional value. Now replace the highlighted temporary value with column 1 as highlighted. To be able to convert the date in text in the preferred format, we need to use the date time from function to convert the date in text to date time format, and then use the date time to text to convert the date time in the preferred date format. After the conversion, you will get null for the non date format. All we need is to use the try otherwise function to resolve the problem. We are almost there. Add a custom step. Use the table to rows function to turn the normalized column name list into a list, and we will use it for the table rename columns function. Add a custom step, and go to the get column names step. We want to recycle the code we wrote earlier. Copy the highlighted code, go back to the custom one step, and paste over the copied code. We recycle the dynamic code to get the timesheet table. Now click on the enter table to convert the record to table. Add a custom column, and name it rename columns. 
We want to apply table rename column before we append tables. Please ensure that you use the missing fields ignore to avoid potential errors. Preview the tables, and you will see all the column names are now renamed. Right click on the rename column, select drill down, and then add the table combine function to the formula to combine all the tables. Let's go through the result. Check the header, and all looks good. Let's change the source column name employee number to emp number. Now, go back to the power query. You will see the emp number appended as a separate column. Go to the helper table, and add the emp number onto the table. Check the power query, the emp number is now renamed and appended correctly. Thank you for watching, and I hope you find this video helpful. Please don't forget to click like if you like the video.